weakness. Do I have weakness? I am nothing but weakness. I'm not naturally strong or fast or flexible. I'm certainly not the smartest person in the world. I get emotional over stupid things. I eat the wrong foods. I don't sleep enough. I procrastinate and I waste time. I care too much about meaningless things and not enough about important things. My ego is too big. My mind is too small, often trapped inside itself. Now, all that being said, I have a saying. A person's strength is often their biggest weakness. But their weaknesses can become strengths. I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I am doomed to be. I'm fighting. I'm always fighting. I'm struggling and I'm scraping and kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them. To stop them. Some days I win. But some days I don't. But each and every day I get back up and I move forward with my fists clenched toward the battle toward the struggle and I fight with everything I've got to overcome those weaknesses and those shortfalls and those flaws as I strive to be just a little bit better today than I was yesterday I can tell you everything I've done. The only thing I can't do is grind for you. What's the difference between a gazelle and what's the difference between a lion? The gazelle is running from something. And that's a lot of you in this room. You will run. You'll do what you're supposed to do as long as you're getting pushed. But as soon as that stops, you stop. So you've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Every opportunity, I'm still nervous. E.T., you've been doing this for years. Why are you so nervous? Because the day you become content, the day you stop evaluating yourself, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better, is the day you die, is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came in my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Fight. Go down swinging. And I'll tell you, if you fight with all you have, more often than not, you won't go down at all. You will win. But you have to make that attitude a part of your everyday life. Do the extra repetition. Run the extra mile. Go the extra round. Make the right choices. Give the full measure. Make yourself stronger, mentally and physically. Stand that fight. Fight against weakness, against fear, against time, and against decay. Fight back. Go down swinging. Give every day everything you've got. And when you face a challenge, even something you don't believe you can win, or a situation where you know you cannot win, remember this, you have nothing to lose. So, stand up. Go forward. Go out in a blaze of glory, fighting with everything you've got, every ounce of energy, every bead of sweat, every drop of blood until your last breath. And then, and only then, can you stand down. If you're going to be successful in this game, you got to have a dog within you. You got to know it's a dog fight and you got to go get that fight. 
Life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. Just cause you got a degree, you think cause you got a degree and you wrote a book, they about to bow down to you. That's just that one boo in this game. Good people can't really handle them on the level that someone who's graded. So you're praying for greatness and a problem comes and you're running from the problem. You don't understand that it is in solving the problem that you become wealthy. You don't understand that when you solve that problem, you solve something that a two other million people couldn't solve. And so once you solved it, that solving the problem elevated you. The longer you wait, the longer you wait. I'm being real. The longer you wait to get started and just start grinding, the longer you're going to wait to get to the other side and get that reward. There's nothing wrong with the opportunity. You're not giving 120. You given 70, you given 60, you given 50, and you walk with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You want what they pay for, and it ain't free. It takes both emotion and logic to reach your maximum potential, to really give everything you have to go beyond your limits. Because Emotion and logic will both reach their limitations. And when one fails, you need to rely on the other. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further, to push you to say one thing, I don't stop. When your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, you think you are going to break emotionally, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says one thing. I don't stop. It's like the weakness of logic with the power of emotion. Then in the balance of those two, you will find the strength and the tenacity and the guts to say to yourself, I don't stop. You don't belong at the bottom and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. The Bible says he was in a pig pen and he came to himself and he went home. Get your butt up. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. If I was going to quit saying, you should have got me at 17. You should have broke me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. And you will have to fight and fight and fight and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new one. Don't talk to me like that. I guarantee you, I ain't no loser. I don't know. I don't know what losing is. When I was a kid, I knew what it was. When I was a kid, I was a high school dropout. When I was a kid, I ate out of a bed, slept in a band of bills, ate out of trash can. When I was a kid, my old dude wasn't in my life. I'm a grown man now. All I do is win. It ain't a song, no matter what. It's hard for you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise you, man, the light at the end of the tunnel. If you keep walking, if you keep making one good choice or two good choices, good choices will always bring amazing opportunities. I promise you, man. Things will get better. It won't be microwave. It won't be overnight. It won't be instantaneous. I know we want that, but it's not. Greatness takes time. When you build something with a foundation with choices and character, you see, character is everything in life. Your attitude's gonna really determine your altitude. When you learn to have responsibility and respect and integrity and be punctual. Let me share with you the, the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. 
and it took me years to do, and that was to believe that it was possible, to believe that I could do it, given my circumstances, born in an abandoned building on a floor, being adopted, being labeled educable mentally retarded, failing twice in school, no college training, never worked for a major corporation, to believe. You ever thought about something you wanted to do and you talk yourself out of it? There's a proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. That's why it's important that you make it a point every day. And, and you never stop, because once you stop, that's when those negative thoughts will come back. Once you stop, that's when you will begin to doubt yourself. Once you stop, I'm telling you what I know. Yes, every day it's a selling job on you. It's possible. I can do this. I can make this happen. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. It's possible. Feed your mind with words that you write and words that you hear and words that you speak to yourself. Feed your faith and your doubts will starve to death. Say to yourself, it's possible. It's possible, even when you have no evidence to point to, say to yourself, it's possible. There's nothing as powerful as a made-up mind.